This super cool travel trailer has two bedrooms and two full bathrooms. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the honey badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is the 2024 Palomino Puma 39 DBT and the bathrooms every year seem to be getting bigger. Now, if this is the first time that you have seen my channel, I do about eight to 10 minute walkthrough of the entire travel trailer, go over the pros and cons of it without any special editing or sound effects or weird stuff, okay? So let's get started. First off, you have a power tongue jack, two seven and a half gallon propane tanks, an area here for two group of 24 12 volt batteries, tankless hot water heater. Now this is an upgrade compared to what they were doing. They were doing a couple years ago, a six or a 10 gallon propane electric hot water heater. They consider this tankless to be an upgrade. I don't know about that yet. I'm still on the fence with tankless, but that's just me. Okay, if we look here and we're gonna zoom in, I'm sorry about the wind guys. This has the, been the least windy day in five days to do this. So I apologize about the wind. First off, it's 42 feet, four inches in total length, weighs 10,458 pounds dry, 12,000 pound GVWR with two 6,000 pound axles and 16 inch tires and rims. Now, one of the really big downsides to a destination trailer is the fact that it does not have a lot of outside storage. Now, I did not unlock the outside storage before doing this because we just got this in a couple days ago. And frankly, it's just laziness on my part, laziness on my part. But storage underneath one bed and then the queen bed in the back, which you'll see later, there's another storage for the outside. You have an outside shower. Uh, you have a uh, 50 amp service coach, four stabilizers, two in the back, two in the front. It's also prepped for solar, has a black tank flush, prepped for backup camera, and of course has a ladder get on the roof. Now what is very special about these guys now, and sorry about the wind again, is this particular one comes with three air conditioners. They used to only come with two, but now they're coming with three, or at least the option to put a third on. So I found that really cool because I'm on the West Coast in a desert area. If you wanna park this at resorts off and on, or if you wanna travel the country in it, you got a dually truck, you wanna travel the country, a lot of places get very hot and muggy. So it's nice to have that third air conditioner. And I'll explain how that works a little bit later. Now, if you look here, it's got the extended season package. So residential insulation throughout, fresh water tank insulated for increased thermal performance enclosed underbelly and a 35,000 BTU furnace. Through the master bedroom instead of the sliding glass door. And what you got is a king size bed. This is actually the screen for the sliding glass door. So when we deliver them or transport them, that's where the screen door goes. Let's see if we can click quickly climb up on the bed. Sorry if I sounded like I'm out of breath. Good cabinet space above. I'm gonna turn it so you can kind of see it passes all the way through here. I'm not sure why they just didn't add a third door. I never got that, but I'll have to ask because I have no idea. Area for your cell phones and tablets. Let's crawl off the bed without making people puke because I'm moving too much. Okay, you got a big closet area, closet, closet and it's all connected it's just separated by doors and then you have top shelf area for foldables maybe some shoes you also have some pretty deep down here for shoes not bad i mean to me this is a pretty good closet that's not in a fifth wheel and in standard we order them with washer dryer now here's the interesting part while we're walking through this and looking at drawers you can realistically only run two of the air conditioners at a time, okay? But there's one in the master bedroom, so you could pretty much run that 
and in either the living room or the back bedroom AC. So you'll always be cool in the bedrooms. You don't necessarily have to run the one in the living room only. Got a nice big bathroom. I mean, look at the shower size. It's wide. It may not be width-wise as much as you get in a fifth wheel, but it's deep, and I like that. And then you have a linen closet. Shower. My ugly mug. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. I like the bathroom. I like the master bathroom. Okay. Now moving into the bedroom, a couple really cool things. Number one, they give you this nice big area for storage. So you have access to your plumbing from two sides and you get plenty of space to put pots and pans. And that's something very hard to find in any travel trailer, no matter what the size is, to find decent size cabinet area for Big pots, big pans. I'm a fan of chili, tortilla soup. Um, good Lord, oh, let's turn on the lights. Duh. Okay, things of that nature. Now, of course, a lot of you know that I do not, I'm not a fan of this cabinet section here above the love seat. Never have been. Um, a lot of you have told me you do like it. I feel like it's a waste. You got somebody that's taller. And this is what I've noticed. You get somebody that's six foot four, six foot five, they're not going to sit here because they're going to hit their head against the cabinets or they're going to feel like a turtle that they got to squish their neck. Especially since you already have some really good cabinetry space inside the kitchen for it being smaller. Now, I showed you earlier it had a fireplace, but look at this. That's really good space up there. That's deep storage. Coming down here, look. I mean, there's just no waste. So I don't think you need the cabinets above the couch. Um, but again, you guys can give me your arguments. I love your arguments. I love hearing other people's opinions. If you notice, I really don't delete any comments unless they're really nasty. Okay, got four burner stove, big oven. Oh, sorry, it's locked in place. Somebody actually transported locked in place. That's cool. Okay, and then you got your residential refrigerator. Let's unsnap. Let's unsnap. And we got your deep freezer. And then you got your refrigerator. Now, above here, I like that they put the little lip. So you could put other stuff up here once you're settled in. Um, you got a pantry. I really like this. I've always liked this layout. I actually like this layout better than the bunkhouse. Especially if you're only going to have four people. You know, having the queen-size bed, getting the extra storage. I like that better than the bunkhouse because the bunkhouse, even though it has a bigger room area because of the slide-out, your half bath is really tiny. Boy, that mattress makes a lot of noise when there's plastic still on it. Okay. Okay. You know, you get bigger closet space in this particular unit. So if you got two kids, <clears throat> let's say you got two boys, two girls, you don't necessarily need a bunk model travel trailer. You can get something like this if you're planning on doing long stay shorts. Why is that not opening? Oh, stuck. Cheap drawers. Cheap, cheap drawers. But again, it's priced under 53 grand. So when you start stepping up to 80 grand <clears throat> in these destination trailers, you get better drawers. But the cabinets are nice. I'm gonna have to talk to Puma about that. That's crazy. That's that, Those are terrible drawers. Good Lord. Okay, toilet. And another big shower. Beautiful. Okay. Now, if you have any questions, make sure you put them either in the comments section or you can send me an email or a message through the social media, which is in the uh, description box. Also, great stuff. I've got a merchandise store going. So if you look in the description box, 
you can go to that link and get your HBRV Lifestyle t-shirts, hats, etc. to help support the channel. Check it out. And then uh, in the top right-hand corner of this video, you're going to see another really cool, like, long destination-type travel trailer.